Time for some TikTok tea. I love some TikTok tea. This one's with Jojo. Siwa and Christy. I can't say her last name. So apparently, <laughs> Christy was doing, um, I don't know if it was a live on TikTok, but whatever. And she was talking bad about Gina. Now, if you all remember, Gina was the choreographer and helper on the show Dance Moms. So, JoJo was having none of this, let me tell you. And it's funny, here, Christy, you can see she has a following of 1.4 million on TikTok, which is a lot. It's not bad at all. But let's see how many JoJo has. Like 30 million. <laughs> the girl's got it going on. I don't care what you say, but JoJo's got it going on. That girl takes a lot of heat, but I think she's got a pretty good head on her shoulders. Let's give a listen to her TikTok. No, Gianna's not nice. I never like to comment on things or get involved in things that don't involve me, but this, I just have to say, this just came up on my For You page, and that is absolutely the most disgusting and ignorant thing that I have heard anybody say. First of all, Gia is one of the sweetest people in the whole world, and second of all, she works so hard every single week for so many people, including Chloe. She had one of the most stressful jobs on the show. She was in charge of choreographing every single number. Now, yes, of course, everyone has their moments, and everyone isn't nice 24-7, including you, Christy, but the thing is, is you don't need to say that somebody is not not a nice person. I'm sure you're a very nice person, even though the experience that I've had with you, you were not nice to me. You actually made a very rude comment to me, but it may have just been a moment. You don't need to say that people are not nice people. I would never say that you're not a nice person just because our moment you were rude to me. It's just not what you do. Go Jojo. She let her have it, but in a respectful way, in my opinion. To me, she's so mature for her age, even though she's definitely still marketing to a much younger um, girl, I I do kind of take issue with outfits like this one that are so under her age. I do feel like she's going to have to glow up. And I know she's done articles talking about it. She knows she's going to have to do it. I think, in my opinion, she's going to have to do it soon. She's just getting too old to keep looking like a, you know, nine-year-old. And uh, she needs to be herself, be... You know, if she's goofy and fun, that's okay, but you don't have to dress like a nine-year-old. You know, her. I think what her group forgets is that her fans are growing up with her. So, you know, they don't stay nine either. <laughs> Everybody's got to grow up. And just for fun, I thought I'd look up and see what Christy's daughter's TikTok looks like. Looks like she has two million followers on TikTok. Not bad. But still not near what JoJo has. 30 million. That girl. You know, the thing is, she's probably banked enough money to never have to work again. So she can pretty much do whatever she wants. And I kind of get the feeling like she does. But then I feel like, too, like she doesn't have very good people advising her. Because I think she should have already done the glow up. I think it's time, JoJo. Not that JoJo cares what I think. But it's time to glow up. You know, you don't have to turn your back on your fans just because you're going to start dressing your age. You can still be goofy and fun and all that. But really, how long can you continue on with the glitter and the, um, the clothes that look like a nine-year-old? The thing is, she is 17 now. I'm pretty sure she's pretty close to 18. So at what point do you stop with the really young stuff and start acting your age. I don't know. She's going to have to make some big decisions. I feel like she needs a better PR group behind her to help her muddle through. You know, there was a time not too long ago where James Charles did her makeup for her to give her just a more mature look for her age instead of the glitter and the sparkle and all that. And I thought she looked amazing. Some people said James Charles made her look too old. I thought she looked great. He gave her a very natural look that I thought was very pretty. 
Here's another thing I liked so much about JoJo. She knows that people make fun of her all the time. TikTok, YouTube, Twitter, she knows. She's not a fool. And she'll laugh right along with them. Of course, she's laughing all the way to the bank. <laughs> the girl is smart. But I love the way her ability to take people's criticism and let it roll off her like a duck. Or just join in and have fun with it. She's got such a great attitude about it. I want to play this kind of funny clip from her TikTok where she, to show how she does this. The girl is brilliant sometimes. On this one, somebody commented something like, are you turning five for the seventh time? And here's her reply. It's the eighth time. I think a lot of us adults, myself included, could take a page out of her book. I She just amazes me with the way she can handle all this fame and money and I think she's done a better job of it than 99% of other kids. I think she must have a really strong support system at home. So that makes me happy because y'all know I'm, I'm not happy about kids being made famous. But she seems to have handled it so well. You know, if she was my daughter, well, if she was my daughter, this would have never happened. But here's what I would do at this point. I would probably have her take a year off and shut down all of her social media, all of it, for a year. And then I would have her come back, if she wanted to, all glowed up. All glowed up and I'd have a f totally different everything. I would do away with all the glitter and the ponytails and the bows and come back as the mature young woman doing whatever it is she wants to do in the future. I don't know. But that's what I would do. I would just have her take a year off because you know the girl could use probably a year off. Maybe she wants to go to college. So that's what I would do. I would just take her off for a year, shut down all of her social media, and come back as the um, JoJo 2.0. Just my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And thanks, and I hope you have a wonderful day.